Hi, it's Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science and right now I'm in the Decium store with Mim, Education Associate for Australia and Nicola, co-founder and CEO. So Nicola, how did you get into the beauty and skincare business? So when I was at university, I was sponsored by Boots in the UK, which is one of the biggest uh, beauty, well, health and beauty retailers. And that's how I met Brandon. So I was working as a beauty buyer when he was with his previous uh, skincare company, Indeed Labs. And then when he left Indeed Labs and he wanted to start Desi and I wanted to join with him. It was too exciting journey not to. So I joined in 2013 when it was founded. Um, and yeah, just really, it became more than we ever could have dreamt of, and it's just been yeah, a crazy journey that happens to be here. And Min, how did you get into Desium? So, I did marine biology at uni, so I've always been a bit of a science geek. Um, and when I worked in the lab, it was really interesting because I was starting to see projects being pulled into cosmetics mm -hmm. as well and I wasn't really like I wasn't aware that side of marine could be possible mm -hmm. so I moved to Sydney and I ended up <laughs> you know down the rabbit hole and here we are and I've just always been really fascinated how the molecules work um, now it's going beyond marine now it's like how newer technology is working for us mm -hmm. and how we can utilize it so it's an exciting definitely mm -hmm. exciting time what are the best-selling Desium products? So our best-seller across everything is Neosinamide. Um, mm. So we sell one Neosinamide every 30 seconds. Wow. Uh, and I think if we could keep it in stock, we would probably sell even more. So Neosinamide is our absolute best-seller. And now it comes in jumbo size, which is amazing. So Neosinamide has been really popular because it's a fantastic vitamin and mm. mineral-based serum. So mm. not only is it good for your oily, blemish-prone, um, or congested skin types. It's actually quite hydrating as well, draws mm. moisture into the skin. You've got the addition um, of zinc as well, zinc PCA, so that's excellent at taking down any redness or inflammation in the skin. And we find that niacinamide as well over time actually helps with the overall tone of the skin. So for someone like myself who can get the look of dark spots after blemishes, mm. it's been great to even it out. Which Desium product was a surprise success? Were any of them surprise successes? Do you just know? Well, The Ordinary as a brand was definitely a surprise success. So we launched The Ordinary to make a point. So for us and the odds, the kind of crown jewel when it comes to skincare, it's, mm. it's really looking at the future technologies, how advanced skincare can be. It's focused on skin health, skin integrity. Mm. And actually, Brandon and, and the team, they, they get frustrated when they see these incredible products they create sat next to other brands and it's not that the other products didn't work, it's that other brands were shouting about vitamin C being mm. new and we were like, it's not, it's a great ingredient but actually let's not say that this is innovative when yeah. actually it shouldn't be packaged that way. And also we were seeing how expensive they were being charged for mm. we like, we felt frustrated when Neon genuinely was so kind of groundbreaking because mm. yes, we were like, actually, like, let's show consumers if you want these ingredients that do really work for they're really trusted, they don't need to be uh, expensive and they don't need mm. to be kind of shouted out as new technologies. But we never expected the ordinary to really become what it has mm. become. Was there anything you were surprised by in the Sydney store that sold really well? The multi-peptide serum for hair density in the ordinary. So when we launched that product in Sydney, it's literally sold out. Mm. So that was fantastic to see the response mm. for a hair care product underneath the ordinary umbrella. Mm. That was really exciting for us. Are there more hair care products coming for the ordinary? Um, so HIF, which is one of our hair care brands, we're mm. actually going to relaunch next year and have a full hair care range. Mm. Uh, in the ordinary, there's a couple more kind of within hair and body that are in development, which mm. hopefully in 2020 we will start to see. Which Desium product do you think is currently underrated? I'd definitely love to give a shout out to our finishes in the Hylomide range. So we have the Photography Foundation, which is like a skin blurrer, mm -hmm. uh, perfecter as well. So it has different technologies in there. So it essentially deflects and absorbs different wavelengths of light. So you actually get a really blurred, even finish to the skin. You can mix it with your current foundation. You can use it without. Um, you can even use it on top of your foundation as well. So it comes in three different tints. There's the transparent, which is like a pearlescent 
uh, tint so you can use it and not have to worry about some sort of a bronzy base and then we also have a golden tan and dark tan. And I think in the chemistry room we have our hyaluronic concentrate which is just a big tub of hyaluronic acid <laughs> which is one of those products which is just amazing. You can apply it all over your body and it really just helps to hydrate the skin um, and I love the fact you only have to use it two or three times a week mm. to really keep your body hydrated. What are your personal favourite Desium products? Uh, so for me it has to be our the odd copper immuno isolate mm. serum, that's the one that I just couldn't live without. Um, but then also actually our multi-molecular hyaluronic complex mm. mini neod, uh, which has got the 15 different types of hyaluronic acid technologies. Uh, those are the two that I try and keep as my staples, uh, AM and PM, and then I tend to try and often there's new products that I'll be trying that I'll then add on top of those. For myself, I definitely go for Flavonone Mud Mask in Neod. So again, I'm an oily, congested skin type, so I love how it just pulls everything out. It's non-drying on my skin as well, and again, great for brightening. Uh, definitely can't go past niacinamide in The Ordinary, and I definitely love the Vitamin C Powder as well. Again, brightening. You can kind of see a thing here <laughs> with me. I feel like if... Like being Asian, I get tons of pigment and I am also obsessed with fading pigment because when it comes, it just never leaves. Yeah, totally feel it, totally feel it. And we do get a lot of like um, deeper, maybe olive Asian skin tones coming in and that's a quite a major concern is like as soon as there's a blemish or some sort of trauma to the skin, um, the post-inflammatory pigmentation is an issue. Yeah. Um, and now we definitely have products that can target the look of that pigmentation as well. So giving people some options. So what are your skincare and beauty routines? Uh, for me, it depends on where I am. And if I'm running later on time with my baby, I feel like since I have Mila, everything's just kind of up yeah. and down. It depends. Like I love, especially if it's on a weekend and I have time, and I love to do like a mud mask and really take the time to do a few different steps. Um, if I'm kind of taking the time at home, um, Sometimes I'll find that actually my morning routine, I'll try and leave a bit longer in between each layer. So maybe I'll wake up, I'll cleanse, I'll apply some paint, then I'll brush my teeth and apply something else, and I'll go and brush my head and come back and apply another serum. So for me, it just depends on how much time I have. Yeah. So very similar to Nicola, it depends on the time. Um, if I have a very, very long routine, then I'll do the full double cleanse, mm. I'll do a peel in there, and then I'll layer my serums. If I'm short on time, um, which is most mornings, mm. then I have to put on niacinamide at least, mm. um, at least some sunscreen, and then I'm out the door. What is it like being a female CEO in the beauty industry? Because we hear a lot about how the beauty industry, it's lots of women, but at the top, it's mostly mm. men. I actually feel very fortunate that in, in both Boots and Desium, I've never felt any gender bias and I think it excites me for the future world that I think there are more modern companies like Desium where actually it literally does not matter gender, age, it's just about who's kind of best for that role and um, you know since I became a mother it's definitely you get you have more pulls on your time and it's hard when you, you're really trying to do the best at both jobs and I think you know the thing that I really want to work with our, our team on is how do we have a really great maternity policy because there's no doubt when you have a baby as a parent you suddenly are trying to juggle more things mm -hmm. which you're trying to prioritize everything in your life and I think you know one of the things that I have found that's made it easy now to give me the balance is the fact that we are a global company because what used to be frustrating that we had offices open 24 hours a day because we have offices in New York and Melbourne, Sydney, Korea, London and it was always someone was working. I now find a benefit because actually Mila goes to bed at 7pm. It's only 2pm in Toronto and mm. I get home so I can get on a call but that means I can maybe have the afternoon off with Mila. Um, but really we just... We're a team that really disrespects each other, regardless of uh, gender or age. I feel very fortunate at, to be in this position. So what is coming to Desium? So we've got some exciting new launches. Uh, so probably my personal, well, actually I've got two I'm personally very invested in. Uh, so from Neod, we're launching our Copper Amino Isolate Lipid. So this would be an evening uh, treatment. This blue colour comes from the, the concentration of copper peptides in here. Um, now, CIS, probably the hero product we have out of everything mm -hmm. it does seem it's the one that I think all of our team are very loyal to and really believe in. Um, and this is from the same family of the GHK copper peptide, but this is a lipid version which has a higher affinity to the skin. Uh, so this would be an evening treatment, and actually when you use CIL, we'd say at night time you wouldn't even need to use a hyaluronic serum when mm -hmm. using this. Um, 
It's not very coconutty, is it? A coconut. Uh, one of the ingredients uh, is from a family of a derivative. Um, mm. So yeah, that's where the, the smell comes from. Uh, but this would work very well as an evening treat, and then you could use CIS in the morning. Um, and I guess, do you want to maybe yeah. show CIS? Yeah, so CIS, or in Australia, we, we like to call it CAS, mm. um, two to one. So CAS two to one is your copper peptide, mm. but also pure peptide mm. serum. So with your copper peptides, excellent because they're found naturally in the plasma mm. of the skin. Lots of different functions as well. So great at synthesizing collagen. We want a bit more collagen and elastin mm -hmm. as well. We've got supporting technology in there. So that enhances as well the mm -hmm. copper peptides. Mm -hmm. So that's a fantastic serum for mm -hmm. overall skin health above and below surface region of the skin. Mm -hmm. And it's in an interesting format. So it's, is it like a two bottle thing? Or it's a it's separated so yeah. we can keep the ingredients as fresh as mm. possible so when you crack it open and you mix the activator in and you shake it that's when it's it's most fresh on mm. yeah so <laughs> when you get this home for the first time you mix it together this one's already being pre-mixed and then you get this blue color which is from a couple of peptides and then you can see this is actually thinner than water this formula so it really just sinks straight into the skin so then in the ordinary we are launching our concealer, so mm. this comes in 21 shades, uh, very highly pigmented um, and actually the, the science team really works closely to understand the nature of the skin and how the micro vibrations work, actually to come up with a matrix which means it won't sink into any kind of fine lines, wrinkles and this will be priced under 10 Australian dollars. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, it will come in all 21 shades that we have the current range of colours in. So the colours that we have uh, two categories so we've got the coverage which is your medium to full coverage mm -hmm. it's buildable it's designed so that the pigment glides over the skin mm -hmm. again not sinking into any pores or fine lines or texture and they work really synergistically together <laughs> and then we've got our serum foundation mm -hmm. More of a liquidy texture mm -hmm. as well, less pigment, so you get that light to medium coverage. Mm -hmm. Some people mix the two, or you can use one in the daytime, serum in the daytime, coverage in the nighttime, mm -hmm. and they're suitable for all skin types as well. And again, the shade range is fantastic for all tones. Mm -hmm. What sort of format will the concealer come in? Will it be like they're going to come in a tube? Oh, awesome! Yeah. And then we also uh, next. April time, we'll be launching our SPF here in Australia. Yeah, oh, so, that's launch. so we have SPF 30 and mm. SPF 50. Yeah, so the 50 is a mix of chemical and mineral, mm -hmm. uh, and the 30 is our mineral one. So with the 50, there's a very slight white cast, but they're really not much at all, and then the 30 is invisible. And then we will also, we don't actually have a sample here, but our AHA peeling solution. Oh, fantastic. Well, it's one of our best sellers globally, yes. but we can't sell it here yeah. in Australia or actually can't sell it in Canada either. Mm. But we are launching our pom pomegranate um, enzyme extract in Willow Bark, which will oh. give you, a, so it's kind of the alternative mm. product, which is more uh, fruit based. Uh, so mm. that's going to be launching early in 2020 as well. Awesome. Finally, we've got our baby brand launching. Yes, it's going to be called Hippu. Mm -hmm. It's going to be launching at the beginning of next year. Uh, I have a nine month old baby daughter mm -hmm. who's been testing these products for us. This is our thin milk. It's squally based, but it's a really nice, light moisturizer. So it won't put too heavy on the mm -hmm. baby's skin and you can kind of massage with it whilst it sinks in. Every product in Hippu will have five ingredients or less. So that's going to be launching early in 2020. Fantastic. How do you decide which products to launch next? Um, so it depends really, so kind of the lab, when we create products, a lot of them actually come out of the lab and I think one of the things that makes us different is our MPD development team sit as part of technical, mm -hmm. not as part of brand or marketing because mm -hmm. actually I think to really get true innovation, if it comes from the scientists, mm -hmm. they're telling you that we've seen this or we've developed this and actually that's what's really exciting. Uh, one of the ways we really keep creativity, so one of our brands are Phenomaly, uh, we say it's the brand for our misfits, mm -hmm. and so anything that doesn't quite fit elsewhere ends up in Phenomaly. And it allows us to keep creativity as well in the lab, because for example, one of the things we want to work on is a hyaluronic mouthwash. Mm -hmm. Now we'll never have a dental brand because it just wouldn't make yeah. sense, but actually there are exciting technologies and that's now something that can sit under Phenomaly when it launches. Mm -hmm. So what else is next for Desium? So in Toronto we've just moved into our new headquarters uh, which is 70,000 square foot facility oh. 
Um, and in them we'll have all of our uh, lab where we have over 70 people now working in technical, in research and development, clinical testing, uh, regulatory. Um, and then we've got our design team, so everyone's just going to be in this amazing space. And it's nice because Brandon actually picked that office and he helped us to design the layout. Um, and then we're also going to be launching a store which will open in uh, spring in 2020 so consumers will be able to come to the store and actually see into the offices and, and hopefully be able to see the products being made as well we believe in full transparency so we're excited for consumers to be able to see what we could do thank you so much for talking to me min and nicola thank you for having us thank, thank you, you.